Hello everybody, we are back, and here you can see the team ratings. It's Western Kentucky against Kansas State, and we are at Kansas State in Manhattan, Kansas, to open 2014 Year 3 in this dynasty. It's week 2, we had a bye week in week 1, we'll get to recruiting in within the next video or so. Um, this game, or this video, will focus mostly just on this game at Kansas State. And the Hilltoppers have a lot to prove in this game against a very tough Kansas State team. They may not be ranked, but they're, they've got some serious talent on this team, including one of the fastest wide receivers in the nation. We'll get more on that later, but... First drive of the game and the Hilltoppers driving down the field. John Cruz on a little option action, but he stopped short on third down. It's fourth and inches. And we're in K-State territory, so we decide to go for it. We get a guy to jump offside, but John Evans gets the first down anyway. Um, but we will accept the offside penalty because it gives us one more yard than was actually gained. So <laughs> there you go. First and ten, now Cruz back to pass, looking and finds Willie McNeil, a guy who you will not see a lot of. He's fairly low on the depth chart, but he does come out in a few formations, and there is freshman Brendan Hunter in his first career reception there, and he's going to look forward to a long career at Western Kentucky. And backup halfback giving, backup halfback Oliver Head giving John Evans a little rest. He pounds it in for the touchdown. And uh, there it is, right there, 7 nothing, right off the bat. Hilltoppers not afraid, but here, looking over the middle, they're going to throw a near interception, and Bender, he's a quick little quarterback, and he finds there's the dangerous receiver we're talking about, Tyler Lockett. He has one of the fastest receivers in the country. He has a 99 speed rating right now, which is as high as it's going to get. And there, Bender's going to take off. He's got some speed himself. And that's sophomore safety, Jermaine Wade, who was named to the NCAA Freshman All-American team last season. But uh, now first and goal for the Wildcats. Here, Bender rolls out, and he's going to be sacked. Big sack there. Now third and goal, Bender Rolling out again, feeling a little pressure, but his receiver is going to drop the ball. And they would settle for the field goal, so now Hilltoppers trying to get some action going. Maybe looking to take a two-score lead if they can. Freshman Brendan Hunter is back in the action. And uh, got to say, it's fun seeing uh, recruits doing well. And John Cruz... About a 10-yard gain on that option there. Now he finds Mitchell Henry, the tight end, a very reliable receiving tight end, and he's pretty darn good at blocking too. Rico Brown finds a little hole in the defense there, and it's first down now as we're nearing the end of the first quarter. John Cruz takes off again and gets a nice chunk of yards, and he's been working on his running in the offseason to get a little bit quicker. John Evans on the draw play stuffed by a tough K-State defense. Cruz now looking as all day, but coverage is solid, and he'll take a sack. And it was pretty good coverage downfield. There may have been one or two guys that got open at one point, but we were not really aware of that at the time. So it's a 10-3 game after a field goal by Jesse Roy, the senior kicker who has been outstanding. And now the handoff to Robinson on third and four. He will be stopped short of the marker. But we would go three and out on the next drive. So K-State getting pretty good field position to start. And Robinson going to take off. He's a quick little dude. And this team has a lot of speed. They are very fast. K-State is tough to stop just because they're speedy all across the board. So it's hard to keep up with them. And they run a no-huddle spread offense which becomes even more difficult to stop lock it on a nice 12 yard reception there and third and 10 now bender in the pocket sets to throw and he's going to find his receiver over the middle at the six that'll set up robinson here for the touchdown run and k-state has just tied this ball game up wildcat fans breathing a little sigh of relief some high fives 
because uh, they're finally not losing to the Hilltoppers. <laughs> John Evans on the next drive gets a handoff, working his way into a funny... Um, one of the comments I received in my last video, um, I, I think made an interesting point. He, you know, he said who his favorite players were. I'd be interested to know who some of your favorite players are um, on this team. You know, maybe one offensive player, one defensive player. Um, either, whether they've graduated already or if they're still playing. And Cruz with a nice little run there. Seven rushes, 50 yards so far in the first half. Um, Cruz gets hit as he throws. He takes a nasty hit, and he's going to be out injured. And it'll be a foot sprain. He'd be out for two quarters. Unfortunate, but Jesse Roy is going to hit this field goal from 53 yards out late in the second half. And we jump ahead now. 25 seconds left. K-State is driving first and 10, and Bender's going to take off, but he gets hit. And now time has run off. They're looking third and 13. They're going to take a field goal because there's no time left in the half. Or two seconds, I guess. But it's tied at 13. We jump to the second half. And right off the bat here on second and 11, Robinson is going to get caught. He almost busted. But Jonathan Dowling, shoestring tackle there to save the touchdown. And Bender's going to take off. He's doing that a lot. We have two quarterbacks in this game who like to just... Scramble away <laughs> and Sexton there on the catch near the goal line. First and goal now. Bender rolling out. He's going to get hit by Washington, but he's going to still get away. Hit by five different players before he's brought down. And now second and goal. Robinson handoff. Touchdown. And K-State takes their first lead of the game here in the second half. And the purple and silver trying to get something... Really going to, to to demolish this Hilltopper team. But John Evans on the screenplay. He's got some speed. He takes it down the sideline into Wildcat territory at around the 40. James Morrow in replacing the injured John Cruz. All of her head gets great blocking. And Morrow trying to get something going for this offense. And look at this throw. Beautifully placed throw to the Brendan Hunter. And now third and goal. In the shotgun, Morrow rolls out and finds John Evans wide open in the flat. Nobody was there to guard, guard John Evans, and Evans is a very good receiver out of the backfield, especially due to his ability to just break off that great speed. So it's a 20-20 game now. The offenses are starting to get rolling here. A lot of momentum, and Bender's going to look long, finds Tyler Lockett over the middle of the field. A deep play. And they are setting up nicely here. Second and five and around the 20-yard line. Bender's going to find Sexton again. And it is a touchdown. K-State answers very quickly after Western Kentucky tied it. So now here we are late in the third quarter. 27-20, the Wildcats lead. And it is third and two. Oliver Head giving Evans a rest again. And he gets the first down. Morrow back to pass. He has been clutch so far since he's coming to replace Cruz. Two touchdown passes for him so far. And now John Evans running off to the right side there. A nice play with third and one. And here James Morrow is going to throw deep to Brand. He beats the zone coverage. And there was a miscommunication between the safety and the cornerback there as they both kind of vacated the area. The cornerback went to defend Brendan Hunter, who was running a short out route, and the safety wasn't quite sure what he had to do. Bo Brand makes that beautiful catch after Morrow lobbed it up, and John Michael Payne gets the sack. That drive would stall, or that's not John Michael Payne, I'm sorry. It looks like him for some reason, but look at this play. Boom, that drive would stall for the Wildcats, so Hilltopper starting their next drive in the fourth quarter. John Evans having a pretty solid day. James Morrow on a play action here. He gets hit as he throws, but Rocky Suggs, what a name that is. I love that name, Rocky Suggs. <laughs> it's awesome. And John Evans now on the stretch play off to the left side. He gets a decent amount of yardage, and they're now in a goal line situation. Tied at 27. Evans can't quite get in the end zone. He stops short. 
And so third and goal, Morrow play action. He's got his receiver open. The Megalians the receiver. What are you doing? Why did he stop? Receiver stopped. If he kept running, he would have caught it for a touchdown. And instead, we settle for a field goal. 30-27. Now there's three and a half minutes to go. And Bender looking to lead his Wildcats down the field to win this game. He hands it off, lever at the back up halfback, it's swallowed up in the backfield, no room to run. A little play action there, and they've been running that to perfection all game long. It's play actions out of the shotgun. Bender's going to take off again. He's going to get 15 yards on this run, and they run the no huddle again. Two and a half minutes, Bender taking off, and nobody seems to really want to take him down. He gets another big chunk of yards, and... He is eating it up all by himself on the ground. It looks like he's going to hit his receiver, but great defense by Cam Thomas. Knocking that one away. So third and 12 now, and Bender pressured, makes a poor throw. And it looks like the pressure got to him on that play. So they will try for the field goal from about 47 yards with two minutes to go. Field goal is up, and it is going to go just to the left of the upright. And it's a miss. All Western Kentucky needs to do is get a first down. Kansas State does not have enough timeouts, and Evans gets a first down. That would be the game. Western Kentucky upsets Kansas State on the road. 30-27. to Couldn't have asked for a better way to start out our 2014 campaign than with a huge road win and John Evans' player of the game. There you go. James Morrow, John Cruz kind of split their uh, passing duties up as Cruz was injured for a portion of the game. But there you can see lots of rushing numbers for our guys. Once again, spread out Evans 97 yards on the day. Evans also the leading receiver in this game. Interestingly enough, the senior halfback having a fantastic start to his season there. But, uh, yeah, I did not expect this. Um, Kansas State is a very good team. And uh, that's a pretty big win. So we will take this momentum into our first home game, and it will also be our first Sun Belt Conference game of the year. It will be taking on Texas State, the newcomer to the Sun Belt. So look out, Texas State. And uh, there you go, Jesse Roy, 3 for 3, long of 53, he's a great kicker, really going to miss him once he leaves. But uh, there you go, to various Bender, an alright day for him, 65% completion, that's not too shabby at all. And uh, he ran for 90 yards as well. They definitely tore up the, the ground yardage, it was, it was tough to stop their running game. Um... On top of, you know, some really solid, speedy receivers. And, uh, yeah, actually, it's funny, I'm doing this video now. The, uh, Fiesta Bowl just ended, and Kansas State lost to Oregon. Not surprising. Uh, Oregon's ridiculously good. Um, can't really fault Kansas State. <laughs> and, uh, Paris Brown, the freshman kicker, missed... A key field goal, and right there at the end where they had a chance to tie it, possibly send it to overtime. Couldn't quite get it done. And the numbers, yardage numbers are pretty similar for both teams. Look at how many rushing yards they had, we had passing yards. And, but it was pretty even game across the board. No turnovers, which is interesting. Both offense execu offenses executed pretty well. And there you go, the players of the week, both NCAA and Sun Belt players. See how they did. Of course, Louisiana Tech's in the Sun Belt now, in case you forgot. But uh, here we'll also check the early season Heisman watch, which actually features a lot of the same players we've been seeing over the last couple of seasons, including Malcolm. Ken Malcolm of Georgia, who won the Heisman last year. So uh, next week, we'll take on Texas State. We'll also look at some recruiting. I will see you all then.